fact, not just West Bengal, the Sharda Chit Fund scam also stretches to Assam. Shudipto sends explosive letter to the CBI, brings Assam Health and Education Minister under the scanner. Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi has hinted at a CBI inquiry, but says his minister will not quit till proven guilty. Aurajit Sen is getting us the details. The Sharda Group Chit Fund scam has not only opened a can of worms for Mamta Banerjee's Trinamool Congress, but there appears to be enough skeletons in the Assam government's closet too. The 18-page letter written by Sudipto Sen alleges a prominent Assam cabinet minister, Himanta Bishwa Sharma, took money from him. Reports suggest the minister denied all such links. In the face of these unproven allegations, the chief minister has hinted at a CBI inquiry. So today we have a long discussion about eh, the CBI's limitation and all. We are just contemplating, definitely we will go for a CBI inquiry. Without some substance of prima facie case, some prima facie case, you know, one can ask him to step down. Unless there is some private prima facie cases, so that is the, normally that is the natural justice. The question of natural justice is also there. Some former Sharda employees have also alleged the involvement of a former DGP Shankar Barwa in the scam. But why did it take so long for the police to react? I don't think we can be faulted. Um, as you said, these, these are companies that have, that have a, a footprint that goes beyond a SAM. And that is why perhaps the CBI will have more leverage. So I've come across no such interference. No one has, has ever come to say either slow down an investigation or don't proceed, proceed in a particular way. The Assam police plans to send a team to Bengal soon. On paper, for the security of the investors, the Assam legislature has passed an act for the protection of the depositors. But in reality, the Gogoi government seems to be neck deep in a scam that has caught everyone off guard. With Arjit Sen in Guwahati, this is Edwin Thomas. All right, for more on that, we are being joined by CNN IBN's Orijit Sen, who's joining us from Gohati. Orijit, it's now pretty clear that, that not just West Bengal, that chit fund scam also stretching to Assam. What is the Chief Minister saying? Is he planning to take any action, especially against that State Minister under the scanner? Well, the Chief Minister has clearly said that until and unless the allegations are proven, the people concerned won't resign. The Assam government, in fact, has taken ex very long to react to this. In fact, it's almost woken up from deep sleep and is seen to be taking corrective steps. And there are very extremely uncomfortable allegations, not just against the former DGP, but also the health minister, and coming from different quarters and also in that 18-page letter written by Sudip Sen. And so the question is that is it because of patronage from the high and mighty that the Sharoda group grew from strength to strength in Assam? So we have to see that despite the Chief Minister assuring that there will be a CBI probe, the state government will pursue it till what point, hmm. really. And they have kept their eyes shut for so long as you're pointing out. Thanks very much for joining us this hour, Rajit. We'll keep coming back to you. Let's get you the other big focus today, the Joint Parliamentary Committee on 2G.